evening, everyone. It is June 11, 2013, and it is the work session of the North Kingstown School Committee. So we're glad to have you all here this evening. Um, so why don't we start off with, um, we'll rise and we'll say the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Lorene, could you go ahead and call the roll, please? Linda Avanzato. Here. John Biscarden. Here. Larry Cerisi. Cheryl Clarkin. Here. Robert Jones. William Mudge. Kimberly Page. Here. Julia Held. Here. Dana Larkin. Here. Thank you. All right, I'm anticipating Mr. Jones being here. Uh, he did give me a call and say that he um, was stuck in traffic, so. Mr. Right. Cerisi also is supposed to be here, so. All right. Lorraine, could you go ahead and call the calendars, please? Just a couple of items. June 24th, last day of school, all schools except Quidneset. June 25th, school committee business meeting, 7 p.m., North Kingstown High School. And it's also the last day of school for Quidneset. Thank you. All right, so we have um, the biggest part of our audience here is the, the boys' track team, so we appreciate you guys coming here tonight. Um, so we'll go down and we'll give them out some certificates, and actually, since we have such a small group, school committee, if you want to do shaking hands too, feel free to come down. Well, good evening, everybody. It's our pleasure to have this recognition. And before we do the individual recognitions, I do want to point out to all of our, uh, our whole district that the boys' spring track team won the Division I South title, and they were second place team in the state. So congratulations to them. And Ms. Page is going to hand out uh, the recognitions for individual uh, members of the team. All right, we also actually have the girls on top, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> so um, then the girls track team also did well. They came in sixth at state. So the first person we have here to recognize is uh, Maria Bolbrook, um, who had the, um, came in first in the 100 meter hurdles. And I believe she came in fourth this weekend at regionals. Is Maria here? All right, okay, um, we'll switch back to the guys since I know you guys are here. So it was um, exciting times at the state track meet. We had a um, uh, number of winners. Um, I'll actually call them according to my sheet. Well, um, Zach will bring you up first, okay? So Zach came in first place in the 400 meter um, race, also in the 800 meter race. And he was in the 4x4 um, relay, which also came in first. So um, we say congratulations. <laughs> now, Zach, I must admit, I think he, we spelled your name how Charlie spelled your name in the email. And right before the, the, we came on stage here, I said to Lorraine, and I said, Oh, I don't think we should have spelled it like Charlie spelled it. I don't think it's spelled that way. So if it is incorrect, let Lorene or I know, and we will make sure we get you a certificate with the correct spelling. All right, as I said, um, Zach was part of the 4x4 relay team, so why don't we have the rest of the relay come up? We had um, Nick Tierney, Joe Craven, and Ben Stewart were on that, and they all were in the same team that came in first. talk about those too. So um, a lot of these guys ran in a couple of races. Like um, Joe also ran in the um, 400 meters and he placed fourth. 
So congratulations to you. And Ben was our hurdler, and he placed first in the 300 intermediate hurdles. So congratulations to you th for that. And Ben, you were also in our 4x800 relay, which came in first. So congratulations. All right, so we had more, as I said, we had more winners. We also had, uh, um, as Ben Stroot was up here for the four by eight, we had three other people in that race. We had Ian Connors, um, we had Ben Sawyer, and we had Dalen Smith. Uh, Dan, uh, Dalen was also in the um, 1,500 meters, and in the 1,500 meters, he placed six, so congratulations to him. Um, our, our track team had great things going on. The fact that they came in second in states. Um, they had other kids who placed, um, but we always just recognized the, the first place, but we also had Graham Pellegrino came in sixth in the 300 intermediate hurdles. We had Kyle Sayer came in sixth place in the high jump, and Connor Hayward came in second in the pole vault. So thanks to all those guys. In the girls, if you guys would like to sit down, we'll let you. Thank you very much for coming. Um, as I said, we had Maria Bolbrook. Um, she placed first in the 110-meter hurdles, and she was also on the 4x100 relay team, which placed fourth. Uh, states, and that also was composed of Holly um, Babola, okay, um, Shannon Emmerich, who is Zach's sister, and um, Alicia Sutherland. Mm -hmm. And then we had Aisha McAdams, who came in second in the 3,000 meters. So. A um, couple other things to, to mention this week as we're talking about um, presentations. We also, um, this past weekend, ha our boys came in fourth in golf at States. And I was able to attend the senior sports um, um, awards banquets. And I, they always talk about what the students are doing after graduation. And we had 96% of our students had some sort of a plan after graduation, whether that be college or, or the military. So I thought that was pretty, pretty good attest to, to, our, um, to our sports athletes that, that we had that high of a number who had you know, something definite that they were doing. Um, our own Chelsea Campbell, who um, usually sits at our school committees, although tonight we have Dana, we appreciate her always coming. Um, Chelsea Campbell received the Rhode Island <coughs> Treasurer's Young Leader Award, and if you got your um, view. Her picture is in the view. That's terrific. So, it's oh. <laughs> Well, that's terrific what you're saying. <laughs> I'm not going to, um, I have one more person to announce in that um, we have sitting here in our audience tonight, we have one of the two COM students of the year, Mr. Greg Coleman. So, right. we thank you, Greg, for always coming to our meeting. So, hey, Greg. <laughs> So I don't know, Michelle. Did you have anybody, anything else to recognize? Everybody else to recognize? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. 
Great. So that brings us to citizens' comment. With our vast citizenry <laughs> out there, I don't know if anybody wants to Craig, comment. Craig, bring the camera around so we can see how, how full the audience is. Go turn it around. It's June. So. <laughs> Dr. Ken would you like to say a few words this evening? <laughs> Nicely done. That's why, you got, that's why you're the prominent student of the year. Nice <laughs> All right. Um, if there's nobody to speak, then we're going to move on to the approval of the minutes. Um, or actually, um, the superintendent's agenda. report. I'm sorry. It's my pleasure to make some uh, points first this evening uh, about the graduation on Friday night. I would like to thank the class advisors, um, Ali Cardi and Chevy Bo Sherry Beauvais, uh, also the North Kingstown High School staff and the elected officials who attended. I uh, received an email today that Dr. Kenworthy sent out to families and the staff and said that the class of 2013 have collectively received over $2 million in scholarships, grants, and aid. So congratulations to that graduating class. We also have some grant opportunities I wanted to call your attention to. Uh, first is a $30,000 math assessment grant that we are participating in with eight other districts. I was a co-writer on that grant. And that work has begun and uh, we've met twice. And in fact, today was the second session. So that work is going really well. They are developing high quality rigorous assessments aligned to our units of study that go with the Common Core. And it is park-like questioning and inclusion of math practices. Uh, so we have a representative from K through uh, grade six, one uh, per grade level, uh, representing um, North Kingstown with the other districts, and they are working collaboratively to develop these assessments. Uh, secondly, we are positioned to receive a $50,000 career in technical education grant. Our area of focus is pre-engineering and robotics. And it is on our agenda uh, for a little bit later in our agenda for a memorandum of agreement for your approval. Uh, this is a state approvable, a state approvable career preparation program. It includes business and university partnerships. And it's modeled on and in coordination with engineering programs at URI and CCRI. And we are fortunate to have at least three high school teachers with certification in the, in the field of engineering and experience teaching engineering coursework. A group of us have met with URI, we met with RIDE, and we met with the CCRI staff so that we can begin this planning and it is part of the <coughs> application that we submitted. Uh, this has been an important goal of Dr. Auger's and, uh, and the school committee. It's in our strategic plan, and we have special thanks to the high school staff and to Barbara Jack Jackson for helping us in the articulation um, of this grant and the articulation with the colleges. Uh, also, we had students recognized by Gina Raimondo last week uh, for taking the finance and investment um, a course at North Kingstown High School, and they were recognized for a completion of this financial literacy program and received ever five certifications. Additionally, Forest Park and Fishing Cove will receive $10,000 from the Feinstein Foundation for updating their signage to include a plaque reading Feinstein Leadership School. Both schools have been Feinstein schools for about 12 years. They already have the signage. This is just an updating. Our school classifications um, have been released to us, but they are embargoed at this time. The release of these classifications has been postponed to Friday, June 28th. We were anticipating them in mid-June, but this has been delayed. So we will therefore postpone our presentation to the school committee and probably do that in August. If you remember from last year, the six classifications were a commended, leading, typical, warning, focus, and priority. So we'll be hearing more about that. And finally, last night at our town council meeting, um, there were several of us in attendance there. Uh, happy to report that the uh, town council approved the sharing of the $72,300 uh, request, sharing that with the uh, school committee for commissioning services at the high school. And I am also happy to report that the town council graciously approved $600,000 for renovations to Davisville Elementary to be used as an alternative learning center. 
And that's it. Quick question. Thank you, Dr. Humbert. I forgot to say at the beginning um, that um, Dr. Jay is not here tonight due to some um, family commitments. So we have Dr. Humbert, who is here with us, our assistant superintendent. So thank you very much. Linda, you had, Mrs. Avanzato, you had a question. Just a brief question about um, the town council's discussion of the 600000 last night. Did they talk about the facilities subcommittee um, getting involved? Is that part of the conversation? Uh, yes, actually they did. And, and we had uh, communicated that clearly we would want to do that. We did not have the facilities subcommittee involved thus far because, you know, they, they're volunteers. We didn't want them to spend their time on a project and a plan if we weren't going to be able to move forward with the funding. Um, but Jim Grundy is um, he, he's peripherally aware because when we had first started talking about it, he knew that we were thinking of maybe doing something with the admin building. That, that was an early thought early on. Um, but they will be getting involved. RIDE is going to have to approve the project anyway because it's over $500,000. And one of RIDE's requirements is that the facilities subcommittee also bless it. So that's all going to go hand in hand. So, John, we're tasking you, you and the um, facilities committee, yes, I am. To, to have a meeting. I did talk to um, Jim Grundy last night, and, and, um, and he, I think he, he's realizing that he's ready to move forward. So. Um, and anybody who doesn't know what the commissioning studies were, uh, not at this table, but for anybody who's listening, that's basically that they're going to, that money is going to be taking a look at what is going on here in the high school as to seeing what is fixable and what is not as to why we have the third floor that has the 90 degree days. So that's what we're, when we're talking about our commissioning study, that, that's what that means. Like I said, I know the people at the table know that. It's more for people who are listening. Uh, the only other thing um, when Dr. Humbert said about graduation, just uh, as a reminder, next year graduation is Friday, June 6th. So put that on your calendars now so that we can um, have the, the full school committee there at the, the graduation for next year. So we did have a healthy Jamestown showing um, the other day and that we had three of their members and we had two of our town council members. All right. So that brings us to our consent agenda. Is there anything to exempt from the consent agenda? Uh, yes, Mr. Jones. Um, exempt um, 4C. Is there anything else? Great. Do I have a motion to approve the remainder of the consent agenda? So moved. I have a second. Second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion approved. Okay. Mr. Jones, that brings us to 4C, a memorandum of agreement. Yes. Thank you, Mrs. Page. Um, the reason I exempted this is I, I think it's important enough um, to merit at least a, <laughs> a discussion on stage. Um, I know a lot of people don't actually end up reading through the agenda, uh, just so the community understands exactly um, what this is about and, and the direction the administration is heading um, in terms of, of finding these kinds of opportunities, which I, which I highly support. Um, the movement by the district to, to move into more experiential and learning and uh, career preparation types of, of educational opportunities. Um, so I, I'd appreciate it if perhaps, you know, Dr. Humbert or, or Mrs. King would just take a minute or two to explain exactly what this is about. And I just did have one question, and, and if it was answered through email, I apologize, but I just wanted to confirm whether the district had any matching fund requirements as part of the, the grant? Yes, we do have a matching uh, local match, and uh, we are positioned for a $50,000 grant, uh, and so our local match would be 20%. Um, so that, that's, oh well, do the math. Um, so, so when are those funds due, and, and what would be the source of those funds? 
Um, that information wasn't in the packet also. We are going to, for the $10,000, Mr. Jones, we are going to use $5,000 from technology budgeted in FY14 and $5,000 from professional development because those are two areas that this grant will be addressing as well. Uh, it, you know, it's a professional development kind of thing to get the, the career tech program growing, and Dr. Humber can speak more to that, and then there will be some technology needs. So the $10,000 is going to get filled from other areas of our budget. Uh, this MOA needs to be signed by Dr. Ajay and returned to ride tomorrow, and we expect to have the $50,000 before the end of June. Great. Thank you. And th this is what, when Dr. Humbert was giving her superintendent's report, this is the exact thing that oh. she's talking about. So, um, well, she covered it. I apologize. I apologize oh, that's for coming fine. late. I, I think it's always good to, to highlight some of these things. That's not, that's not a problem. Um, but I just wanted to make sure we had the tie-in so that <clears throat> people understood what she was talking about is also what you're, you're happy about. So. Are there any other questions? All right. So um, do I have a motion and a second on this item? Motion to approve uh, C4. Second. Second. Thank you. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Motion carries. Item is approved. That brings us to the end of our consent agenda and into unfinished business. Um, we had on here 2013-2014 school budget, but I um, I don't think that there, we have anything that we need to to, be, um, to work on for approval of that. I, yes, well, Mr. Jones. Just a question re regarding this agenda item. <clears throat> um, I, I, know, I realize at the previous meeting we approved the, the recommendations and, and I believe that got us to a, a balanced budget. Uh, my question for um, Dr. Humber and Mrs. King is, so has the town council updated their official appropriation memo? Because I believe the discussion we had, though, was in using fund balance to change the bottom line appropriation number and I, I believe there was a request for, you know, precision in terms of exactly what that new numbers look like, and then has the town council um, done their update to make it sort of official, official by the charter? At last night's town council meeting, the $228,000 from the fund balance was a supplemental appropriation. So the budget is appropriate at the uh, the number that we the general fund that was appropriated by the town council that was back a week or two ago and the 228 was appropriated last night and also I can also tell the committee that I do plan on updating your budget binder okay so I will work on that you'll get a final binder that will have what was voted on including the 228 um, you'll have that. I'm hoping by the end of June, but you know, I'll let you guys know when, when that's available. But I am going to. You'll get a whole new package for a final budget. So, so Mayor, will the will the town council reissue that again? That sort of official looking thing. That well, yeah. What they, they do, do actually is it'll come out with a, a, a vote that just says that a supplemental appropriation was made of the 228. And then in July, if we get more state aid, they'll do the same thing with the state aid. Okay. Yep. So they won't, they won't um, adjust the original number. They will just add that there was another amendment made as a supplemental appropriation. Michael, will, Michael um, Mr. Embry will send that over uh, probably later this week. Thank you. Very good. There's no other questions. Then that brings us to our reports. Um, and basically, it brings us to the time, um, because our reports are just that reports for us to see. It brings us to our recess to executive session. Ms. Ms. Fade? Yes, um, Mr. Jones. The question, if you will indulge me just on the reports real quick. Um, if the committee doesn't mind, quick question for Mrs. King on that. Um, so I, I know based on the, the updated fund balance schedule reflects the some of the changes. My question is, has the town side, um, ha have the ta auditors issued an update to the official town audit or the annual financial report to reflect those adjustments? Um, in FY13, the FY13 adjustments? 
Well, I, I think believe does the six hundred and five thousand adjustment co affect previous year's fund balances that, that need to be somehow captured? Oh, you mean the money from uh, the trust? Right. No, they they won't go back. Um, that's why it automatically falls to fund balance. So it wouldn't be an adjustment. You, you wouldn't book it on your um, income statement because it would skew your income because it is from prior periods. So we'll automatically flow to fund balance and they'll flow in there in the FY13 time frame because that's, that's when we'll get the money. Okay, so it'll be, I guess, captured in the it will. 2013? Yeah, what it, whatever's received, right? And um, these other items that were used, those will flow through too. You'll see that captured when we do the FY13 audit. Thank you. Any other questions? All right, I am looking for a motion to recess into executive session. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Great. Okay. We will adjourn into executive session and then we will reconvene um, if we need to take any votes.